Hello there, it's Nitalis. You are watching my channel dedicated to the study of English, right? Here we study basic, intermediate and advanced English. We try to be fun, we try to be very light, a very light approach, right? And we want you to be in contact with the language as as many times as possible so there are many videos available to you there are more than 125 videos in my playlist right we have two playlists available one of them is intermediate advanced which is entirely in english this video is part of that playlist and there is another one a basic one dedicated to people who are starting to study English, right? They are beginners or people who can't understand the spoken English as easily as others, okay? So, today we will study would rather, would rather do something. Yes, uh, we have already studied this topic, my last video. Uh, I recommend that you watch it before this one and prefer and would rather have similar meanings, right? We saw some situations, some expressions and many examples in my last video and here we are going to study more examples, more situations, okay? So, without further ado, let's get going. Uh, yesterday, I guess I didn't record a video. I was too tired. <laughs> yes, it happens. Sometimes we just want to rest, right? Um, let's see. I'd rather, as for example, I'd rather you... Um, helped her today. This is a different approach, right, to the verb would rather. I'd rather you did something. I'd rather you did something. So, when you use I would rather, it's not possible to use the verb in the simple present, for example, you have to use in the past tense. You helped. Helped is a regular verb, right? And the simple past of it is by adding ed in the end of the verb. I'd rather, we have already seen that it's would rather. And it has the same meaning as the verb prefer. Let's see more examples. Um, he'd rather they didn't know the truth. Okay, so it's possible to use, right, of course, other uh, pronouns as well, but check the structure. He would rather people did something, right? He'd rather someone did or didn't know the truth, for example. He would rather they didn't. So, we use the simple past here after the expression would rather. We have two different uh, sentences, right, joined here. He would rather that they didn't know the truth, right? This is an, um, this is a, if we isolate the sentence, this sentence actually makes sense. They didn't know the truth. So, he'd rather they didn't know the truth. But, we use, you know, we use the simple past, but not necessarily the meaning is about simple past. 
Actually, the meaning has nothing to do with the simple past. It's an idea in the present. For example, um, I'd rather... Um, have lunch early. I'd rather have lunch early. Or I would rather have lunch early. Okay? Alright, let's write the sentence in another way. So you will check the difference. I'd rather... Um, you cooked dinner. Now, this is another ex uh, sentence, cooked dinner or cooked lunch. Yeah, anyway, I'd rather you cooked dinner now. You see, the, the sentence is in the simple past, but we have, for example, adverbs of time in the present. The meaning of this sentence we have here is in the present, right? It has nothing to do with the, the simple past. It's an idea in the present, okay? Here we have the same situation. In the, the example I gave previously, I'd rather you helped her today. Today is an idea in the present, but we use a verb in the simple past, right? I'd rather you didn't come here. You see, I'd rather you didn't do something. I wanted you, I would prefer that you didn't do something, okay? I'd rather uh, you didn't talk to her. Okay, I don't want you to talk to her, so I'd rather you didn't talk to her. Or, I would prefer you not to do it. I want you not to do something. It, it's an idea in the present, but we have a verb, uh, in that case, the auxiliary verb didn't, to express an idea in the past, okay? Let's see some, just some more examples to summarize uh, this part of the, uh, this part of the lesson, right? Uh, the examples we want to give here now are about prefer and would rather, okay? Just some examples to summarize what we, to reinforce what we have already studied, okay? As I mentioned, I recommend that you watch my previous videos, right? Some videos are continuation of other ones, and it's not required that you watch my previous videos, but it's advisable, uh, nonetheless, right? I prefer to phone people. I prefer to phone people to sending emails. It's not my preference. I prefer to send emails, actually. <laughs> you prefer to do something to doing something else, remember? I prefer something to something else. And when, um, after, after the preposition to, you have to write with ing the next verb that follows it, okay? She prefers 
to travel by plane rather than travel by bus. Yes, I agree. When you travel by bus, it takes you more time. It's much, much worse than traveling by plane. Traveling by plane is more comfortable. Uh, depending on the trip you take, it will take, um, in general, of course, uh, uh, traveling by plane is faster unless you travel to a very far place. So you will spend more than eight hours in in a plane, but it's not uncomfortable, not at all. It's less uncomfortable actually <laughs> than traveling by bus. Check here the difference between these two sentences. When I when I use, I prefer doing something to something else. You see, this is a preposition to. The verb that follows the preposition has to be with ing. This example, on the other hand, is different, right? She prefers to travel by plane rather than travel by bus. After the expression rather than, the verb is not followed by ing, right? We have already studied this. I'm just... Uh, reviewing this with you, right? Um, she would, she'd prefer to get a cab, a taxi, right? She'd prefer to, to get a taxi. She would prefer, so it's possible to use the expression she would prefer. You um, let's complement this sentence. She'd prefer to take a taxi rather than walk home. So remember, after uh, when you use she would prefer, for example, and you have the expression rather than, the verb is not followed by. ING, okay? Now, let's see a compound question. We, we will see two different uh, sentences together in a simple sentence, in a simple question, right? For example, are you going... to make lunch or would you prefer or would you rather sorry I made it let's explore this sentence are you going to make lunch you know are going are you going to do something? To be going to plus a verb in the infinitive tense. This is uh, what we call the near future. It expresses an idea in the future. So I'm asking if you are going to make lunch. Are you going to make lunch or would you rather? So this is a question, right? So would comes in the, the beginning of this sentence, right? The sentence starts here, or would you rather I made it? Here, I have to change the verb because it's a question. Um, it's uh, when you use would rather, the verb that follows it has to be in the simple past. But the idea we have here is not simple past. Remember, we have talked about it. When you use would rather someone did something, the idea is in the present. The idea is not in the simple past. So you have to be attentive to it. Would rather I 
make it is incorrect. So, you have to change the verb into the simple past, okay? All right, people, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Next video will be a great one. It's a topic I love to talk about. We will talk about prepositions, right? Followed by verbs. Don't forget, we have the Intermediate Advanced playlist, which is where you are already watching it. And subscribe to the channel. I record videos almost every day, right? I, I try to make videos uh, to both playlists as I, I have available right now. We are recording videos only about English grammar in the beginning, right? Once I finish covering uh, the entirety of, uh, of the grammar or the basic, uh, the essential grammar, we will start studying vocabulary as well, okay? So, bye-bye. Have a nice week. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon. <laughs> And I'm going already to sleep because I'm very tired. Bye-bye.